Bonjour my beautiful people, Christelle here. In today's video, I want to show you how to make the rosemary tea in a way to get the best of it. I do have some rosemary plant in my front garden. So let's go to cut some plants and make some tea. But before we get started, I'm asking you if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel to do so. And I will come back to you to share with you the benefit of this great tea how you can store it and how to apply it so let's get started i will take you with me in my garden see you we have our rosemary plant it looks quite a lot oh it smells so gorgeous and here we have our cinnamon and that's the quantity of cinnamon I will be using for that tea these are the ingredients you need and I will come back to you like I said before to tell you exactly which benefits of all these ingredients will bring to your tea and here already I have my pan with water and I will add everything in the pan I know some people they prefer to add uh, the ingredient anything they have to make tea they prefer to add it and boil water I don't believe that's a most efficient thing to do mostly cinnamon the cinnamon need to be soaked properly and you can have all the nice rich color so so I don't do tea with uh, cold water. And now I'll put my fire and let it boil until I get this rich color. I think I need to add a bit of more water. I'm adding a lot of water like you will have time to, to reduce. Like I don't want to be adding more water while it's boiling. So it can boil with all this water and get reduced and everything is nicely concentrated for the tea. And I will come back to you when the tea is ready to be saved and stored. Here we have our tea. We will save it. Quick, very quickly. Make sure this tea is nice and cold. Okay. Not trying to sieve it if it's hot. Now you can see this is the tea you will end up with. Now I will show you how you can store this, this tea. This tea can be in the fridge for two weeks from now on, from two weeks. But to start with, I will pour into my spray bottle. And you have so many options to store that tea. You can put it in any freezer bag you have. Okay, this is a pack of freezer bag. So you can decide to go for something like that. And you make several bags you put in your freezer. Mean like you will have tea for months. Or, or you can just use your ice tray for that. This one I will, I will put a bit. I will fill it and put it on my freezer by using your ice tray you know like you can have tea for months really just by every time i will need i will use two little scoop and this is just for moisturizing my hair like if i want to damp my scalp and my hair with a bit of it but if you want to do a rinse so you can use a whole jug of it or you use a, a, a half of that I think half of that is a half a liter. So you have so many ways you can use the iced tea. I think I'll put the rest in the bottle and that bottle I will put it in the fridge because I know I will use my spur bottle for the week and the next week I can use this bottle here. The spur bottle will be for the week. 
you know, is nice and full. And the ice tray tea would be for any time I need it for the rest of the month. I still have a bit of tea left. Huh? So guys, I will show you quickly how I use my rosemary and cinnamon tea. I do have my spray bottle here with me and I promise you I will share with you the be the benefit of that tea. And as you, as you know, if you are somebody who suffer from alopecia or your hair is just falling out for no reason because there, there, there are so many factors who can make that happen, you know. You know, sometimes it's age, sometimes it's hormonal shifts. I'm just trying to concentrate it on my wood. I love this bottle. I got it from Mama. So let me show you the mist. I don't know if you can see it. You press once and it keeps going. The tea smells so good. Yes, I was talking about the benefit of um, the rosemary and cinnamon tea. And I say like hair loss can be because of age, of hormonal shifts. Like for me now, it's hormonal because I'm shedding like a dog. Uh, I think it's postpartum shedding. And sometimes it's just inherit, really. It's come from your parents. Like you become bold and it's not your fault, but it's just your daddy or your mommy. Something like that. So what the tea does stimulate air growth so if you suffer from androgenic alopecia that's what they call the male and female baldness it will help you it will be as effective as minoxidil for the people who know what i'm talking about all i can tell you when you start using the rosemary and cinnamon tea you will see a big difference in your hair if you experiment some shading or breakage So the way you can use it, you can use it as a pre poo like you can you spray it on your hair, leave it overnight and wash your hair the next day. You can use it as a, as a leave-in, like when you finish to wash your hair, you spray it in and you leave it in clean, fresh hair. Or you use it like a rinse, means it can be the last thing you put on your hair on your wash day. Like you can be under the shower washing and you rinse it and you leave it. And you can use it as a daily liquid moisturizer. When I say liquid moisturizer, if you have in uh, your routine, your moisturizing routine, it consists of liquid cream oil. So you can use that like as your liquid or you can just put it and seal it with your coconut oil or your olive oil. So for me, that's what I'm doing now. I will do that and I will let it soak in my hair and I will go with my coconut oil just to seal it. Because I won't go doing my moisturizing routine again. Just that is enough. So now my hair is nice and damp. And it's a very effective, cheap way to do your treatment instead of going by buy an expensive thing. And I will also use that on my husband's hair because he, he has dandruff. His scalp is quite dry sometimes. So if you're suffering from dry scalp, from alopecia, from itchiness or any type of thing, it's, very, it's a healing. This thing, I don't know if it's the right word, but it will heal your scalp if you have certain condition. But make sure you talk to your doctors first. Okay, I know it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, a lot of people using it, but make sure you talk to your doctor first before uh, you start using rosemary water if you have serious scalp condition. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so and I will see you next time. I will continue spraying my beautiful rosemary water <laughs> and I will seal it with my oil and i will call it a day see you next time bye